Poor Mbappe, his name is also in the investigation into Matthias Pogba um, in a very marginal yeah, way over this witchcraft is, nonsense. Right. They've been taken into custody. Are there any development? And I'm sorry, I, I I feel like this is like a freaking like soap opera here that we're going. But it is. Through, this, this is, is French football for you. I mean, you know, even at our standard, this is pretty pretty. <laughs> and we haven't even mentioned usual. Sir Jim Ratcliffe. But exactly. Uh, what um what what what's going on there? Do we, are They've there any been charged and they haven't released on bail. And like Jalo, by the way, who's who's free now, uh, which I'm really not happy with. But for the Pogba brother and his the rest of his. The guys that threatened Paul and tried to extort money from him, the 13 million euros, um, they've been charged for extortion and they are currently in in jail, you know, in custody. Could, still, could, could we see a situation where Pogba is going to have to testify against his brother? Maybe, maybe. Certainly the investigation, again, what we know from the investigation from the police and when they interviewed Paul Pogba, he said that that night when those childhood friends who he grew up with, and all the names are there. They're people who were in, in his class, in primary school with him, playing football with him, in the same block of flats of him in the right. council estate in Roissy. Uh, when they took him to this flat in Paris on the, at midnight with two guys with balaclavas armed with Kalashnikovs, and he said, I was scared. I thought they could, you know, they could have hurt me or my family. And they kept to me, shut up, shut the F up, put your, you know, put your eyes down, don't look at us. He said, I was scared for my life. And when you when you read this or when someone is telling you that Paul Pogba said those kind of words, you can understand yeah. psychologically the damage that that could have had on him. Um, so this is where we are. I think Deschamps is really worried, go back to worrying, because, yeah, Pogba might be fit for the World Cup, but psychologically, what kind of Even psychologically, Pogba the idea of, you know, of, of the... Of your your, your what, all of this. what's up with the other brother the the twin Still brother? Still nothing. We don't know no. what. No, we think that he's taken the side of Paul and the mother, but, who's but, also under police protection, like Paul, by the way. But just even just the psychological pressure of, I mean, assuming Matthias's defense is going to be that he was forced to do this, right? I'm yeah, assuming, I think right? this is the psychological likely. pressure, the issues of trust that you have with your brother, who who you grew up with, your your, your older brother, right? Um, not knowing whether he betrayed you for money yeah or whether he was a victim as well in this yeah and that he didn't come to you i mean there is going to be a ton to unravel there psychologically even as he, as he tries to rehab physically yeah and everywhere paul pogba goes now and his family there's there's police protecting right. them can you imagine there's there actually police going everywhere where they go with them to protect them well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.